Hi. I think, um, it's funny because I've been doing this for so long, um, singing, performing, recording, doing what I, you know, what feels right, what I know in my soul is right, writing music, singing it, writing lyrics, performing it, and knowing that you're good at doing it. And every time you get an opportunity to showcase that talent to a bigger audience or to uh, a place where it's, it's, something's gonna happen. And, and I've done some pretty good showcasing, you know, and I've been lucky in some regards, but man, it gets harder and harder when you're not the person that they're looking for or the voice or the talent. And I think sometimes it's so frustrating and you have to wonder when is it, when is it time to, to, to call it, you know? I'm, I, I, a month ago, a month and a half ago, I turned 50 and I really hate saying that. I really hate saying that because it's, you know, it's such a marker to, to what is going on, you know, to, to where you are in your life. And, and I look at myself and where I am in my life. And I, I know that had I done things differently, I'd be somewhere else, but this is where I'm at. And it's not the best position, you know, for someone who's 50. And I still keep going out and I keep trying to do it. And I'm, I'm gonna, I'm not going to stop, I know, because I can't, I can't, it's, and it, it, you know, everyone will say, oh, you have such a great voice, and wow, oh, man, you should be on this, and you should be on that, <laughs> and I try, and, and when you have this talent, it's, it's great, and I love it, and I love doing it, but it's also frustrating because all it does is it, it makes me keep trying and keep getting disappointed, and you wonder, you know, what's it going to take? <sighs> so I'm just <sighs> venting because I just got told for the fourth time in five years, I guess, because I skipped a year, that... Uh, I didn't make the cut for for the voice and and for the fourth time that I, this happened I walked out with the other contestants and they all just swarm around me my the people I just competed against saying wow you should have gone I don't get it you know and and to hear that and to hear that and to hear that from people that you just competed with knowing you know that they didn't get in either but they to cut for them to come to me and say man you you should have got in it kills me every time because it makes me wonder what exactly, what exactly are they looking for? It's obviously not just a voice. So, oh well, I'm going to stop this. I just needed to vent. And I guess I needed to cry because it's me. It's what I do. And, uh, we pick up, we continue. There's a song I just wrote that I have on my SoundCloud. It's Walking That Road. And I wrote it a long time ago. I wrote it probably 1990s. Then. There's a uh, 90, maybe 94, I think. I'm not sure. 
and um, recently with all this that happened um, with all the, the, the killings and all the um, what happened in Charleston I, I uh, for some reason thought of that that lyric and that melody that I had then and I attached it to a song of anger against you know that it's on you know it's it's called nine down in Charleston but the chorus is a pick-me-up and it's for everybody it's for this situation it's for whatever painful or hard situation that you're going through and it goes like this so here you go voice Keep on walking that road, don't stumble or fall. Life is not over, life will go on. A new day is dawning, and you will be stronger if you're walking that road till the gray skies are gone. Keep on walking that road, don't stumble or fall. Life will, no, it's not over. Life will go on. A new day is dawning. You will be stronger if you're walking that road till the gray skies are gone. Just keep on walking that road till the gray skies are gone. So I'm going to take my own advice. And I'll keep walking this this road. Bye.